it's rainy, I mean, they're there. But yep. you know, it's been raining funnily here in Nigeria, in Lagos to be precise. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it all starts, we send down the rain on a day that is um, somehow sunny, and then it went cloudy a bit. Like, I'm just giving some <laughs> weather reports. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And uh, somebody is saying, send down the rain. If it starts not right now, not do we want the rain? There's too much traffic already. We don't, we don't, we don't because need Because you know when it rains rain. in Lagos, it pours. We don't want the rain being Johnny Bob. <laughs> but nice one being a weather girl for today. Yeah, <laughs> because I'm just wondering, wait, in this Lagos, with the ah, much traffic out there. This uh, yep. traffic eh, is gangster. You know, carry walking stick, like. <laughs> Okay, to some people, the second day of a work week can be a drag, yeah? And that is why when you tune in to TVC's East Flash, the day just seems to speed along because life is absolutely better with a splash of entertainment. Oh, Sheila! What did you get to? Honeybot, what, give me some of this thing that is on you today. What did you, what did you do? I don't know. The, the I'm just energy. high on water. You did not give me what you usually give me, ah. so I'm just high on water. Hmm. <laughs> right. Honeypot is very nice and very true when she says that because we never disappoint when it comes to giving you premium and quality. Quality. We have your size. <laughs> Entertainment and, of course, top-notch music. <laughs> yes, sir. Best believe from now till 2 p.m. We've got you and you know that we've got you. No excuse for not tuning in. And you can be part of the show via socials using the hashtag. It's it's flash on TV. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is Roya Ines. It's Flyness. I go by the name King OJ, but you can call me OJ. Mm. That's what it is. It is what, what it is, baby. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, it is your girl Dala, aka the goddess of skills. You can also call me the goddess for short, or you can simply, if you want to make it long, Dala la 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 la. Scream! I'm always waiting for the screw and leave for it. I don't know what enjoys this is a little bit more than I do. I know, I know, right? All right, your home girl right here. It's your girlfriend next door. Mm -hmm. It's on a piece of food. She's a baby. Mm -hmm. It's this honey rubber. Mm -hmm. It's this honey money. Well, this one you should call more. <laughs> uh, you don't have it already. I have it in Jesus' name. Oh, Amen. God. You just have to bring the no, Lord into it. I'm telling you, I have to bring the Lord into it because uh, before I came to work, I said the Lord's prayer too. Because, yeah, yeah huh. because it is very Did necessary, I, yeah, especially no. in this. Uh, OJ, you didn't. OJ, no, 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 OJ, you did not. We know you did not. You can say it now quickly. All right, that's all. Okay. Thank you. It's a sunny part. We don't want to take the grace now because just like around... <laughs> it's okay. So. All right, guys, let's just talk about what we have planned out today. We will start off with the entertainment news. Yes, check out today's celebrants on Celebrity Birthdays. And of course, rewind. <laughs> yes, we will also be checking out where are they now while I will be in charge of bringing today's dose of social media craziness on social bill. Yes, of course, on the second half of the show, we'll be chewing it up after which we'll take the news recap. While on today's Daily Top 5, we'll be talking about Nollywood actors who met their partner on the movie set. Ah, Ooh. this one, then. I can't wait to. Me, I want to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, getting deep into some movie conversation. We will be telling you all about the movies and TV shows we recently watched or currently watching. And finally, wrap it all up with movies of the movie. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, shall we begin the show? Shall yes. we begin? Shall we, my yes. darling? Yes. Shall we begin? yes, we shall. <laughs> <laughs> For you to put your hand and go, uh, you are the one. Love it. Birthday oh, boy, daddy, love daddy, it, daddy. Love it, love it. Oje, why are you looking at me now? Oh, the you gonna boy not do belly. Ah, but you did not like see something. You did not see that people in Who's voice I heard last? Who's the owner of this song? I heard Bona Boy. Then who is the owner of this song? Stormzy. People are always attacking me on this show. It's not oh, wow. You must tell me what is going on. Nothing, with... nothing. I'll tell you what's going on. Now it's time for entertainment news. Okay. <laughs> it <laughs> can be part of the entertainment news. Maybe it might be inside. Oh, first off, Dala, <laughs> Burna Boy. What happened? Oh, Jay, read your news. Okay. Because I know that Dala was actually... Oh, my um, God, what's the Burner's... problem? Uh, videos or something. Now, or, uh, only pause. Was... You like cast person, Sha? Why are you going to cast person okay. now? Uh, okay. okay. Uh -uh. Only pause. I thought we are in this together. No, so, I so thought that maybe continue, something started Should we continue from... talking or you, you get, us, you you get us lunch? What do you want to say? That's how no, we no, do. No, say so, whatever it is you want to say. Because we just saw one movie and something happened that trans, like, it now went into real life. So, I want to know what happened. Whether... Okay, uh, let's just move on. <laughs> 
people will look for Dala and Bona Boy's trouble and <laughs> they'll come break and our lives. And yeah. now come. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, the first story we have, um, <laughs> Jennifer B. under fire for making movie about Baba Ijesha's rape saga. Huh. Nollywood actor and filmmaker Yemi Fabi is getting a lot of backlash after fulfilling his promise to make and release a movie based on the rape allegation leveled against his embattled colleague and close friend Umiyinka Olaren Waju, aka Baba Ijesha. The movie, which is titled Oko Yabo, portrays princesses underage foster daughter as Baba Ijesha's lover, thereby depicting Baba Ijesha as a victim of a setup orchestrated by comedian Princess. Um, this particular act has sparked a lot of social media outrage with many reporting on YouTube that the said movie should be pulled down. Aside that, Yemi Fabi has also been called out for using names, the names Princess and Iyabo to depict the real life situation. Reacting to the movie, Iyabo Ojo wrote on Instagram and I quote, The events of the past few weeks involving one of our colleagues before the court has drawn lots of reaction from different quarters. However, it is necessary we exercise patience so we don't fall into the danger of intruding into the sacred issues already instituted. The president of Tampan Theatre Arts and Movie Practitioners Association at Mr. Latin 1510, our elders at Prince Jide Kosoko at Adebayo.Salam should swing into action to caution the producer and all persons involved in this film. She concluded saying, the narration of the um, act cannot be misinterpreted. No adult should be allowed to intimidate or deprive that 14-year-old girl from getting justice. The will of justice grinds slowly, but justice shall be served." End quote. Sampan has also summoned Yemi Fabi for questioning on the issue in a statement. The association wrote, and I quote, The Tampan Com Committee on Ethics, Conflict and Resolution wishes to inform the general public that the association has summoned Mr. Yomi Fabi, who is the producer director of the controversial film titled Okoyabo, to appear before it on Thursday, 11 July 2021. This invitation becomes very necessary because of the controversy that the subject matter of this film has generated, which is against our ethic and virtue. Despite that, we realize that the film has sparked off another round of public dissension that may bring, pop, that may bring polemic against Tampan and our good members if we fail to nip the board of the controversy. We hereby implore the general public and the parties concerned to please exercise patience as our eminent association is on top of the issue and will certainly uh, ensure fairness and justice. People uh, are really moving mad. <laughs> yes, people are really moving mad. Uh, uh, because, you know, when I even heard that um, there was the name Yabo, okay, uh, okay, yeah, Yabo. Okay, you know, it's Oko Yabo, then yeah. I heard Yabo. Ah, I knew it had something to do with Yabo, Yabo Ojo. Ojo. And um, this is just so funny because yesterday night before I went to bed, I saw that, um, you know, a particular uh, blog kept it there and said that, oh, what um, Yomi Fabi said. And he said, eh, please, I want to go to bed. Oh, I said you should bring it down. I'm like, this person is not remorse, and this person does not even think that there is something wrong in what he's doing. So, uh, there is a case that is still in court, or is he still with the... Yeah, yeah, sorry? yeah, it's he's still already, in court. Yeah, it's he's still in court. court. And, uh, you know, you went to do a movie, and then you're taking sides, and then you're turning it into another thing. You see, why, yes, you see why people don't speak out, why people yep. sweep things under the carpet, and then they live with it for the rest of their lives. And then you have people who you work with, and then they are behaving in an eccentric way, and you're wondering, what's always wrong with this person? You don't know that the person has baggage, that they've been, you know, perhaps the person has been a, a rape victim before, and they will not just be normal for the rest of their lives and all that. Yep. And, um, wow. Wow. This is just smelling, wow. man. It's just, it's sad. It smells. If you want to be somebody's friend, nobody is saying that you should not be somebody's friend. But then yeah. you're not making it affect other people. How do you go about doing that? And then this tampon, when it's other issues, because I'm so surprised that, you know, they're quick to uh, take in certain steps. And then when and it so comes 11, to other, some 11, other things. 11th of July is soon now, so. Because, see. <laughs> Did they, did they mention that time that we're talking about Tampa and when we saw Mr. Latin and all of them? And they, know, they, they excuse, uh, presiding uh, over the, the excuse they, they had that time, they've been talking that to because they've been talking to them. And then the, they will not say anything about it. Yeah, now. they've even been talking to the parties involved. That's Yabo Ojo and Inkechi Blessing that calm down, calm down. They looked at the way it was going. That's why they had to sit and talk they about it. They should get on and this so immediately. So because, of July. Yes, they should be they should swing into action. I don't understand this at all. I do not. 
Mm. Well, this is what I'm going to say. I feel like everybody that even acted in the movie, the director, the producer, the scriptwriter, the person that shot it, the person that provided food for Mance. that set, the people that provided the outfits, the people that everybody on that set, they are all mad. And they are a proper disgrace to your profession because you can't be insensitive to such a case just because you want to be in a movie. Like, how much are you paid for your dignity? That's what I thought when I saw it. And I'll never, waste, I'll never waste my data to watch any such movie. Hell, hell no. See, and yes, it hell should no. be taking down. I'm in full support of that. Thank yeah, aside from him saying he has taken it down, I fans. think it's a whole lot of people that reported the video on YouTube yeah. first. It's, it's even that attitude. made YouTube to even take it down it's first. It's even his yeah. attitude. Uh, I'm going to sleep now. Let me rest. So I've said they should bring you... Really? It's, yep. He's still defending himself and that whatever he said. Tonto DK, did Tonto you see DK the post? For him. For, for every, see, Messi, every celebrity that called him. this out, yes, shout out to them. Tonto DK, I know that I saw your post and yes, I beg. <sighs> All right, please, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> he actually took all my energy. <laughs> yeah. Gwen Stephanie and Black Shelton officially tied the knot. Uh, congratulations are in order for, for Gwen Stephanie and Blake Shelton. Who are now officially married. The couple officially got married over the weekend on Shelton's Oklahoma ranch, as we earlier reported. An excited Gwen Stephanie took to our Instagram page to share pictures and videos from the special day. She wrote, July 3rd, 2021, dreams do come true at Blake Shelton. Yes. In another, she wrote, July 3rd, 2021, I love emoji GX. If you would recall, Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani began their romance six years ago in November 2015 after meeting as coaches on American singing reality show, The Voice. They, however, uh, announced their engagement in October 2020. Just so you know, Shelton was previously married to Miranda Lambert from 2011 to 2015. One month after their divorce, Stephanie also filed for divorce from uh, Gavin Rosdell after 14 years of marriage. I'm very uh, happy I don't know why I am actually smiling. Maybe he's looking <laughs> like what I was just saying. I don't know. He's not in the same. I was... do, you, do, you, do you know why I'm laughing? You know. <laughs> so we talked about they met on the set of The Voice. Yeah. yeah. And we have The Voice in Nigeria too. Hey, uh, OJ, uh, what okay, kind of? That, that is married. <laughs> Yemi, Yemi is single uh, that we know of. Faust is single that we know of. Uh, so Waje is single Waje that we know of. So, 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 so Faust is the only guy available. So Faust and who? I would, I would, you can't say Faust and Yemi. Faust and Yemi would seem like a. Uh, you can't say Faust and Yemi. Maybe so, you say Faust and Waje. Maybe it's something that we did not expect. Faust and Waje, how? I don't see it. But I see, I see, I see with Yemi. I see with Yemi. See, how, see how we are matchmaking people. Yeah. <laughs> you see with Yemi. There is a particular reason I don't. Well, I would have gone for Yemi, but there is just one reason. Yeah, no, we were I'm just saying out Yemi. of. Uh, if I, if I, if I. If I yeah. uh, no, only for the 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 only uh, I'm not saying they're both quirky, like they're both very, mm -hmm. they just seem very... You'll be surprised, you know that there are some things that we don't expect. Okay, let's come back to Blake Shelton <laughs> and Gwen Stefani. <laughs> Massive congratulations to yep. them. Yeah, speculation yep. here and there. Yeah. She flaunted the ring and people were saying, mm -hmm. is it official, is it official? And all of a sudden it happened over the weekend. Massive yeah. congratulations And I like, I like the combination of two of them. They seem like they really have like very good chemistry. Yeah, like, Even from the right. show and even when the show like On the behind too. the scene. Even the behind the scene clips that the they show. show, like they just look like they're very cool. And I mean, they've both, like, I didn't, he, I know he's been married before. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see, two of them, as in, I'm happy, it's good news. Life is sharp, beautiful, Sha. Mm -hmm. It's good news. All right. All right, <laughs> so that's all we can take on entertainment news. It's now time for Celebrity <laughs> Birthday <laughs> Shout Out. <laughs> Super duper excited! Like it's my birthday. I think because of the people <laughs> celebrating. No, it's coming soon. <laughs> the way OJ turned. Uh, like, uh, 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 so is that how July, is that how July children much. be? Yes, we celebrate with people from the first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. In alphabetical order, today's celebrants are the following people. Fifty Cent is forty-six today. He is an American rapper, actor, producer, and entrepreneur. Besides being a successful rapper with hits such as 21 Questions, mm. Candy Shop, In the Club, and Many Men, to his credit, 
He has also gained recognition over the years for his roles in films such as Get Rich or Die Trying and Den of Thieves. And in television, uh, he's known for starring in power as well as being one of the executive producers. There's only and one I song saw. that's coming to my head now. Go, 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 go. go. yeah, the birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. We can party, party like it's, it's your birthday. birthday. Yeah. Uh, you miss something else that we always say every time. And also known for being petty. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to shout to the king of oh my God. Thailand. But today is today, today is no. Birthday. So I don't know why. I don't know why celebrities don't have at fifty black, cents black. strength. Look you at what know, he did to Lil Kim no, after no, BT Awards. Yeah. Yeah. And how people have been saying that is the love of their life. There are people you leave. Did you? Can you uh, believe fifty? Can you believe Maybe. the people that have been saying that fifty cents? <laughs> Is a gift. Vivica, he will Vivica drag Fox. Oh, no, yeah. he will Vivica drag Fox. So. And I get distracted yes. after. So, I mean, if they, I'm a very petty Megan person. Megan Kuti is saying that I said of all people. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he has other characters. Uh, yeah. Hey, Happy yeah. birthday, 50 Cent. So, I now have to think about it. I said, I mean, it's not the 50 Cent that we that know. That we know. <laughs> Let's move on, please. Eva Green is 41 today. <laughs> The French actress and model is popular for films such as Kingdom of Heaven, mm. Casino Royale, 300, Rise of an Empire, Proxima, and many others. And Avengers! <laughs> yeah. um, so in 300, in 300, was yeah. Was the queen, she, she was, was the, yeah. Jared Butler's was, wife. No, oh, she the was bad? the bad one yes, in part yeah. two. So she was the one that was stressing people's lives. Like, see, and her face, I love her bone structure. Yeah. Like, she just looks very bad. It made you look at her, she looks bad, and she wears ear cuffs like me, so I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, birthday. just has to get to it. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. <laughs> wow. This next person, what? <laughs> Evie Edna Ogoli is a year older today. <laughs> She's an Argentine female reggae musician, most popular for her song, Happy Birthday and Jealousy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> one of your favorite songs. Okay, so special rendition to Evie Edna Ogoli. Sing, sing us happy birthday song to her. Um, what's that? Ooh. Happy birthday. Ooh. Yeah. I, I wish, wish you happy, happy birthday. birthday. Ooh, yeah. Very, 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 very happy returns. Yeah. Banana. 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 <laughs> Jealousy. It's okay, it's okay. Jealousy. She is the root. Money part is rehearsing for her birthday. Just allow her. She's no, rehearsing for her birthday. No, they said that that's my best song. That's my best song. I put an energy when by Evie Edna Ogoli. Okay, guys, <laughs> moving on. Kevin Hart is 42 today. Wow. Aww. He is an American stand-up comedian, actor, and producer. His comedic reputation grew with the release of his first stand-up album, I'm a Grown Little Man, and performances in films such as Think Like a Man, <laughs> Ride Along, Central Intelligence, and Jumanji. Welcome to the jungle! And most recently, Fatherhood, amongst many others. Yeah, he was in the movie that I said I didn't like, I know. Which one is that? Fatherhood. Oh, you didn't, you didn't yeah. like it? Yeah, that, he was, yeah, he was star so, of the movie. So cheesy. Was like, she was yes. expecting the very funny Kevin Hart, but it's then not was, that, like, it. he was too predictable. Like, the dad, the wife died, he has to take care of the child. They said he cannot do it, he did it eventually, and that's the end of the film. I'm like, uh. bruh, this is not Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart gives me premium comedy, that's what I know him for. Like, bruh. Happy birthday, Kevin. Are you Kevin dizzy, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Mm, In-house special. Yes. So <laughs> mm, our own Moriah Afolabi Brown is 40 freaking one today. Yes. <laughs> In case you don't know, she is the moderator of our talk show, Your View, and also our former deputy director of programs here at TVC Entertainment. Mm. Yeah. Where is Moriah doing party? Last year was <laughs> lit. Talk by Alabi was. I said, now, nah, wow, is it because it's now 41? You put your respect 41. As it's not 40. Uh, that's a you. Sh sh <laughs> shout, out, shout out to you, Moriah. Um, we got the small chops, but. But we still need other things to follow this much. Happy birthday, Mariah. I came in, I came in um, immediately after the show. I came to say happy birthday to her, amongst other things. Yeah. Shaking yeah. my head at you, Ojin. <laughs> All right. Hey, somebody that has not allowed us to rest <laughs> is this next person. <laughs> hey, ah, 60. Hey, Richard Moffat Damijo is 60 today. <laughs> 
is an Arjun actor, writer, producer, and lawyer. He's also a former commissioner for culture and tourism in Delta State. Yeah, now, and everybody is... We say citizens citizen on the shine seats. <laughs> is it on the same level with Burner Boy for you, in your mind? No, I was actually just smiling because I remember his post about earrings. Earrings, yeah. Where he was like, oh, he always wanted to do it. So he didn't know what people yeah. think about him. And I feel like he's living his and best life now. And a lot of his now. photo shoots now. He doesn't even, like, he's literally living his, his birthday best life. I actually love, saw him, love, actually love. saw him yesterday. It was in a barbian salon. He was getting his pedicure, manicure done. I'm like, see, enjoy Never it. to be cut off fresh. Ah, yeah, so that I was talking to Dala where I had <laughs> run into uh, RMD. She was saying, oh, salon, when did you... I said, my own is very awkward. I actually saw him at the airport in Ghana. <laughs> and then I saw him in church one day. Yeah, and true, he left true. before the service ended. <laughs> so he just stood up and just said, oh, yeah. But happy birthday, and it's, too. And, and it's good he's celebrating a 60th birthday. I remember the interview, I think, he it's had with Trudy. Trudy and talking, was talking about, about how his father and oh, mother. Wow. Wow. He's breaking that cost. They didn't yeah. get up to 60. Yeah. 60, 60, 60. I think he said um, one Happy of them was 59 when yeah. and then the other person was 57. Yeah. And so he says, when you see me exercising and talking about it, it's because of health. Yeah. yeah. Happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. All right, Sylvester. Uh, Talon yeah. is 75 today. <gasps> is an American actor, director, screenwriter, producer, and artist. He achieved his greatest critical and commercial success as an actor in 1976 in the film series Rocky. <laughs> his spin-off titles are Creed, Creed and Creed, Creed 2. Too. Yes, he also widely recognized for portraying the John Rambo in the five Rambo films. As Happy in Rocky Balboa. Yeah. And uh, if you've seen Rambo, you know Rambo, then you know Sylvester Stallone, and that's it. Just as keep in, it there. As in. Classic. Oh, all right. <laughs> Moving on swiftly, Tamara Mari Hustley is a 43 today. She is an American actress and television personality. Aside acting, she's popular for being one of the former co-hosts of the talk show, The Real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I must actually commend her for looking so yummy as a mm -hmm. um, mother of two. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, on that show, you would hardly, if they did not tell you our age or your age, you know, you like know that that all of them, even Lonnie, you yes. know, you might not know. And they make it so, they make it yeah. look very interesting. Like, I know, okay. right? I, I know, right? And the sweetest part is the fact that she's a twin. So I know that her sister's birthday is coming yes! up next. Also 43 today. <laughs> she is an American actress and YouTuber. Uber. Yes, as an actress, she is most popular for starring alongside our twin in the sitcom Sister Sister, as well as her role in series like The Game, Insert Mom, and Family Reunion. So you know, how do you even recognize them? So it's is the Sister that has them all the here. Mall. Yes, that's, so that's, that's, that's different. Yes, that's, yeah, because oh. you might not even know. Yeah. 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 That's true. Happy birthday to her. She's doing great things. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, today hmm. is Jules' birthday. She's 38 today. <laughs> Tolu O'Neill, popularly known as Tools, is an Arjun Beijing personality, talk show host, and presenter. She is best known for hosting the midday show on the Beat FM. And this she dropped some Onirud. banging pictures this morning in native mm. attire. I was oh, not wow, I've not even seen See, them. it was like a cultural, like, Igbo looking. I was like, ah, ah, this drip. I was expecting evening dress type vibe. Yeah. No, she gave us cultural it's since It's good this now, morning. because she's Check even been giving us some cultural things uh, yeah. for, for a while. Mm -hmm. And I must say that I just love her uh, generosity, because, you know, she reached out to me and she was like, Oh, she has this lingerie stuff, and she was like, okay, oh, yeah, true, like, true, uh, true. I should send you some. And I'm like, okay. COJ, okay. Just, just All right, so finally, yeah. major birthday shout out to one of the directors of our show. Yeah. We are talking about the one and only, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, drum roll. True. Mr. Color and your show. <laughs> why, is it, why is it that today of all days, uh, Mr. Color is not in the office? Wow. Because why, I'm not, did I, why did I not put I've, energy to I've not, I've, not, I've, not, I've not seen Mr. Kola this morning. What? Mr. Kola, no matter what, you will still do the needful. Because on a good day, you'll be shouting inside her ear. Hey, fine, right. This time, yeah. And We're Mr. Kola, back. don't bring that redeem, can you? Eh? You go, I'm just saying. Yeah. You go do, you go do you him go, the way like that they do, do him for the street. Like, uh, uh -huh. Happy birthday. All right, so we're saying happy birthday to everybody yeah. celebrating today. Mm -hmm. You are very unique and special. Mm -hmm. We celebrate you. And we're wishing you all the best. Have the happiest of birthdays. Woo!
Ooh. Yes, and that is all we can take for our celebrity birthday shout outs today. Now it is time to take a history lesson while taking a look at Rewind. Let's rewind. On this day in 1990, Jetsons the Movie by Hannah Barbera with Tiffany Dawish premieres. Jetsons. And in 1994, Forrest Gump, directed by Robert Zemeckis and starring Tom Hanks, Robin Wright, and Gary Sinise, is released. Coconut shrimp, shrimp soup. Finally, in 2010, still on this day, Brandon Boyd announces the release of his debut solo album, The Wild Trapezium. And that's it on Rewind. Watch, watch, watch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back from today's history lesson. Up next is Where Are They Now? Take a look to find out which actor we're talking about today. It's Where Are They Now? Elizabeth Benson. Elizabeth Benson, popularly known as Liz Benson, is a Nigerian actress and television personality. The actress began acting at the tender age of five, but became popular in 1993 after featuring in the soap opera Fortunes, where she played the role of Mrs. Agnes Johnson, followed by the Nollywood classic Glamour Girls, which placed her on the fast track to fame. Liz Benson has acted in a number of Nollywood films, including Evil Men, Shame, Karen's right. I'm leaving this house first thing in the morning. Conspiracy. I'm really, really sorry, Marcus. You are the officer and I'm sweating you again. Burden, faces, dead end, tycoon. You've got to hold on real tight to your guy this time around before one beat will snatch him away from you. And body of vengeance amongst many others to the surprise of her many fans liz decided to take a break from acting in 1996 but soon returned to her acting passion a few years later <laughs> some of her most recent movie features include children of mod hilarious hillary so Peggy, how are you doing now you're feeling well now yes my queen thank god mm. Jarrah's mommy and 2017 blockbuster movie, Lotana, where she played the role of Effia. Liz Benson is now an evangelist and has decided to only take roles in line with her faith. Now you know where they are now. Was just telling me something right now and is busting my head. OJ, you said that the elevator does not have no, pronouns. No, no, no. Like, no, I said it's good that I like. No, you say you can't call her you something, call but you have her, to call her. Or what, they, no, so what? are you oh, talking oh, about the they, definite, uh, yeah, yeah, definite the pro, article? She, she said that pronoun is no longer her. Uh, or she. Yeah, oh, is, interesting. Is you know how we have like fluid. more than 35 genders in the world? Yeah. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Oh, wow. And interesting. It's been, it's been crazy when people are trying to interview. I remember Lizzo correcting somebody that, I think it's not her. Like, you have a collaboration with uh, she, and I said, no, she's not she. Like, she's this. So, yeah. um, I think that what I actually think about this quickly before Social View is that um, they should help us too. In the yeah. sense that, you know, you, you might not be doing things intentionally. Yeah. So, be clear. Do not even just get offended unnecessarily. So, I'm interviewing you and you did not bring me up to speed about that. And then you start giving they, me attitude they want, or something. They want, you, they want you to know <sighs> for our time. So, just, let's just... See, as in, you people have already started... Have started, you have already started in, with the craziness that's going on on social yeah. media already by even telling me this one. So, it's time for social view. Let's just continue okay, in this line because it how is, is a female not high uh, again? Oh, oh, yeah. see, ah, don't okay. start that conversation it's now. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Uh -huh. All right. This <laughs> first one goes, small quarrel, you want to break up with who? Hat where I suffer win. Go and relax. We'll continue dating in the evening. This is the expression. This is the energy I need. Please, when we fight, the fight is for this, cross this present moment. So, we have been doing this thing since. You can't now say that you want to break up with you. You say, go, go and relax. We'll continue I like, the evening. I like people evening. like this. So, you come with the grag, grag, grag. They say, oh, see, let me tell you something. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not. I'm don't not worry. <laughs> you just get tired. No, there are literally people that you can't even fight. And this, this, this face, this guy's face is telling me like, go and sleep. When you wake like, up, go and relax. Like. When you wake up, you'll we'll be over we'll it. We'll continue. <laughs> 
right, next one. Hmm. This one says, my mom and I have been cooking since morning, and my dad just walks in periodically to pat us on the shoulder, project manager. <laughs> yes. Because what do you want him to do? He oh, God, him, don't they want papa for us? He's just coming to check, you know? And I think that patting on the back, to be honest, it's like my father. Well, when he well, entered no. the kitchen, he used to pick meat, kicking, just check just the check or anything there, you know, pat I said, oh, nice one, you people are doing. <laughs> Me, I'm suffering here, pounding things. Don't stress well, me. For my own father, the managerial work, is, he was going to stand, he had a spot, he will stand there, he will wear his boxers, and then he will put his singlet, and he, uh -huh. and he will be gisting. He will be gisting. Give, give, give me moral support. <laughs> that one is shield. At least you have company in the kitchen. That's, that's okay. Yeah. I can't hate that. All right, this cat first looks frustrated. I don't even know what this is about here, but this cat's face well, is I've never seen me. a cat like this before, so this is about to be gangster. <laughs> All right, so the cat is saying, where can I find those family members that say, here is 50 million, please stay away from my <laughs> son. Uh, Will me, you take it? Me too, I didn't look for our event. Will you take it? Uh, before. What okay. happened to love? I show okay. The question is, you will not even see me there to ask me what happened to true love. I don't go. Uh, but you love 50 million. But you love the son. Uh, 50 million. That they did not even kill me. That they even called me for a conversation. Ah. Shape, 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 shape. I will thank them. Oh. Shape are seeing Nigerian girls. You are seeing what they do in Africa. If you like. Okay. Wait, so, so you're foreign, saying, foreign okay. ladies will not do this. They'll say, okay, no. Wait. Am I foreign? No, Mr. John. Am I foreign? No, Mr. John. <laughs> I will still be okay, with you. Okay, okay, should I tell you why me I'll take it? Uh, why? Lagos boys will embarrass you. No, but you so love this let guy. Me just, it's, you can love him, he love other people. <laughs> so let me just cash out one time. Okay? Uh, I, I, oh God, I, I'm, I, enjoy, I, I, I I'm enjoying today's social media. Oh, yeah. oh, oh Jerry, collect 5K. If you tell him that, <laughs> leave this one, let him not be deceiving you. Nonsense. All right. <laughs> this pussy card look like somebody I know. <laughs> and they say me. I don't understand why people think I'm so unapproachable. Also me. And you look, the you look like somebody space. I know too. Somebody you know Who I mean. Who is the person? Hmm. Should I shout it out? Yeah. Uh, uh, he's, he's wearing white shirts. Okay. He's wearing color color something on uh, top. He's tier, wearing tier, jeans with tent here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you're talking about Honeypot. Uh, who is that? Okay. Is that? <laughs> I don't call anybody's so, name. Hey, Honeypot, is this you? Uh, let me cuckoo cast myself. Oh, 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 okay. I'm lying flat on this bench <laughs> okay. with this one. So they even said that my makeup today is going to look like this. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys look at it. See, zoom me on this only pot makeup. Oh yeah, give, give, give us that stretch face. Give us that stretch You will see that. And I... Exactly, and I... look at it. <laughs> so funny story, yeah. Before I met honey pot, in my mind, I'm like, this girl, hey, look like somebody that can just throw you slap if you do any. Yeah, if you tell her good money, she, she say, she will not, what's good about what's the money? What's good about the money? <laughs> but guess what? Only for now, turn out to be the sweetest person. But her face, so it's like this. <laughs> but we know they look at face again. Yeah. Have you ever seen me post some pictures on Instagram? Do you know what I'll do? I'll say, don't look at my, my face. face. I'm smiling I'm on the inside. <laughs> I saw it in that day. I said, who does not know that does not know? <laughs> Moving forward. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, this, uh, this boy, this boy, we know this boy. When we see this boy, we know him. He says, you they ask for good husband from God. I toast you, you say no. You know who sent me. Not God now. You say Nigerian girls. God girl. send you. So now they say no. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, not every, yeah. no. The thing is, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 you yeah, cannot yeah. say yes to everybody that comes to come and meet you. But you go test and fit. Okay, no, you will try him out. You will try to get out, sir. Uh, no, if Try him out. I don't understand. Now, jeans you won't buy. So, God, now your size be this. Make if I test them. If it was truly sent by God, you, know, but, so, you never can tell. But this is the thing. And I tell people, especially Christian people that ah, are very carry church on their head. Somebody will just say, you know, God has spoken to me that you now say, God, God maybe this is my husband. Oh, they will just is, carry That is you. creepy. Yeah, it's very strange. Why yeah. did somebody just say, God, why didn't God tell me? Why is God telling you? Why ah, did I hate that thing that frustrates me. <laughs> One person used to call me way back. Every time I'm saying, I'm your host, I say, I'm like, I'm like, ah! Oh, there's still somebody on TV's Connect that's always on your mother. That's and it. that person not approach It's so you. creepy to me. There's one guy that approaches I be, everybody. I will not be say, scared. No, they've not come to me yet. Great on pot for me. Oh, wait, I've had a great on pot for me. It's somebody me. asked me, who is the girl in the picture? I said, me, say great on pot for me. That, that's the guy. That's hmm. the guy. That's, the, pot, that's right? the guy. God. Are you all right? Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> you all right? <laughs> uh, OJ, if you mm -hmm, don't talk to me again. Sorry, quick now, question. OJ, if anybody knows OJ, I'm just saying no. If I... <laughs> uh, pot, please, quick question. What's your favorite color? Leave me alone. <laughs> just answer now. I, 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 I'm not answering anybody. Okay, maybe I see a lot of pink. So I should be pink. No. And pink onion brown. blue. <laughs> because no. <laughs> it's cockroach brown. Cockroach brown. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next.
one, it says, no matter how hard you work, your boss will always arrive True. when you are sitting. True. Hey. True. I have this former boss. Hey, I, have, okay, I, okay. I had this former boss. Okay. Is, that, is that annoying that when you they do... It will not come. It's when you're no. on your phone and you're crossing. Like, you're going to say, yep. so this is what you're doing in the office. Me, yeah. I now I have another to... side of this story. I don't know mm. why. That story is that when I used to work before, there was one girl like that, that every time the chairman was around, they, that's the, the, the girl not carry laptop. I'm going up. One day, the chairman now said, you, you're a pretender. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed that every time I'm around, you're going to this story the up and down. Go and from the carrying laptop. Yes, the no. act. He's, but the thing is, this thing doesn't always apply because there are some people that they don't care, they still reach the office late. They will not start running from the gate. Yeah. Because they are the real CEO of that company because <laughs> they're not doing anything. I will not name names, but okay. I don't know where this thing works, yeah, but... It happens. Yeah. Watch his life. All right, next one. It says, you did date... Hmm. I don't like how they attack short girls, please. It says, you did date short girl. You did ask him, what are you bringing to the table? Can she see the top of the table first at all? Who <laughs> right? But there is one about short guys, though. I think OJ purposely did not see, put that I think one short away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a growing child. I'm see? a growing child. At what age? Short people At 53. So <laughs> Let me tell you a quick story of what how kind of one, one very foolish guy, foolish. Yeah. No, I will just summarize it. Say, we went for an event, you know, it was our guy. Hey, this guy still you know, good. It's anyway, I will say it. Yeah. Went for our guy. <laughs> went for an event. He now said, he's not feeling fine. He's going back to the hotel. So we now said, okay, no problem. Now you're going back to the hotel. Oh, all right, all right, all right. We'll see you after the event. Next thing, he now called us. He's coming back to the event. We're like, ah, uh ah. -uh, she means you're not feeling we'll fine. Now, yeah. He now came back. What happened? He said, apparently, there's one girl that he has seen on Facebook. Fine girl, everything. Ah, nice <laughs> one. He don't book the girl. Say she go go and visit him. <laughs> the girl now came to visit him. Apparently, the girl he was, was a, impressed. She was a very short girl. He was impressed. Do I have type <laughs> of shorts? What so you he ordered said that, for? He said that when he, when he he had knock on his door. So he opened the door. As he opened the door, he saw the receptionist. The receptionist now said, he now said what? He now said, your guest is here. He now said, where? He now said, he's here. <laughs> you, he know said, what he I, like this. you know what I thought you were going to say? Uh, I thought you were going to say that he actually peeped. You know how you can no, see through the... Page, you know? Yeah, so, so you, no. he peeped and then he did not see anything because... He... <laughs> see, see. Huh? Short people's lives matter too. Yes, I agree. Y'all, y'all, men are get out. I agree. Men are get, get out. Yes. Men are get out. They say you should get out. So coming from somebody that is very brief. I'm, I'm oh. still green. Mm -hmm. All right. So <laughs> this one here. <laughs> Second has entered the group chat. <laughs> Satan says, what brings you to hell? Uh -uh. Me. I'm innocent. Satan say, just tell me what you do. Me and I say, I saw my friend fighting a pregnant ha. woman. So I joined to make it two on two. Ah. So this is Satan's face, like... like ah. So you're with Rene. Yes. <laughs> because you see sincerely, I believe that there are certain things that if you Satan die, will be if you die because See. of those things, when you get to heaven, they will scold you, they will say, ah, ah, ah. Are you, are you normal? Ah, ah. Are you normal? See, they will now think How? that you have men. They will just How? think that you have men. Because what is this? Because pregnant... Anyway, so to now wrap everything up, <laughs> Dala said that, the people that are saying that I'm not approaching that, one day, that's how we get to heaven. They will now say, a honey pot, honey pot will be strolling into heaven with a trolley. With two <laughs> With a suitcase. All of you do, people. Do you have your key? All of you money. people that you have been thinking that, eh, eh, let me tell you something, you'll be shocked. Hmm. The people that will enter heaven. Oh. All right, see, before violence begins in this corner, that's a wrap on Social Bill and the first hour of the show, too. We'll be back at one to go deeper into more movie conversation to make sure that you stick around. And in I'm case you don't see me, it's only photo. <laughs> Did you see what you did to me? <laughs> you should not kill us, Jay Paul. It's only photo. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the second half of E Splash. And right now it is time for one of us to chew it off and vent about what is worrying him. Oh, hi. Is it you? It's not me, but I have. No, wow. Why are you sitting that? down with? No, so that I can listen very well. I can be all ears. Yeah. yeah I'm well, good, though. Okay. I'm very good. So it's me who wants to. It's all right. It's okay. What's your problem? All right. Your most recent problem. Your most recent problem Instagram DMs. Okay. What happened? Okay. <laughs> A lot of people don't know how to send DMs. Hi. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, a lot I did people, a whole YouTube post on fam, this. <laughs> a lot of people don't know how to send, whether it's even, the, I'm just even saying DMs, because that's one I can't tell even email safe, because some people just send email like they're emailing their malam down the road. <laughs> fam, I will not respond. So I find that I get a lot of DMs, yeah, and most times it's influencer work related, people want to do stuff with me and all that. I'm only going to respond to you by the quality of your DM. I'm so sorry, because I use that to know what the quality of oh, your mind serious, is yeah. or how mm -hmm. serious you are. <clears throat> I've had somebody send me a DM and say, hello, uh, I would like to do makeup on you. Let me know what you think. And that's, that's good now. Sorry? That's good enough. Hello, I would like to do makeup on you. Let me know what you think. What happened to Good Afternoon, Ma? I've been following for a very long time. I absolutely love your page. I love how you look. And I, that just made me... One of the stress also. Oh, you, you like DM that? Okay, that's you. But let me just say this, right? If you're reaching out to an influencer or you're trying to reach out to anybody in general and you don't personally know the person, OJ, you have to have, number one, manners, etiquette, and you have to be able to know the structure of a proper email. First of all, you start with greeting. People that even just send DM and say, send me this picture. I will never open your DM. I'm so sorry. And it's not even just me. I feel like it cuts across to a lot of people. Please have manners. First of all, start with your greeting. Start with a compliment. When you compliment people, they feel the need to want to say thank you. That, that, opens, start, that escapes that you. Exactly. That even escapes you from the... You know, there's DM, then there's inner DM. So your messages first go to that inner DM. And once you can get out of that place, your life is like 50% better because Thanks. you can kind of Are reach... Are you judging? Seriously, you can kind of reach yeah, that that's person. A conversation already. Because I've had a makeup artist that said, I just say, hello, I like your face. Uh, no, no, it wasn't I like your face. Hello, uh, okay, I'd like to do makeup on you. Let me know what you think. I didn't even open the person's page. Now, the funny hmm. thing is, funny story, I actually now started randomly some months after, stumbled upon the person's page. I saw that the makeup was actually <laughs> nice. So I now commented and said, oh my God, your makeup is actually really you nice. See? Randomly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was still not going to respond to that DM because it's not for me. Okay. It's not for me and it shouldn't even be for a normal person. So I now saw his page and I just said, oh, you know what? This is actually really nice makeup. So I just commented, normally, that's me. I just go around just sharing love on IG. And then I said, go, oh, your makeup is so nice and everything. So he now replied and said, oh, thank you. So I saw his name in my DM. Oh. Said, oh, thank oh, you for the kind. I now it pulled it you. and saw it was that guy. I'm how? like, see how you just lost Almost lost opportunity. Eventually, I told him the same thing. I said, if you want to send a DM, hi, my name is, I've been following you I'm for a genius. very long time. I'm a makeup artist here. This is I the idea know. that I have. Send a couple sample pictures of the type of thing you want to do. And then say, kindly let me know if you're interested. That's a better way to reach out. I eventually ended up shooting with him. And his makeup was actually very good. But I'm just like, a lot of people do that thing where you've lost opportunities yeah. because you've spoken. See, once you don't know somebody personally, I can send a DM to OJ and say, hey, big head alpha. And that's it, we're good. Mm -hmm. What if I don't know you? Don't. Or people that say, sup, or people sup, that say, sup. Sup. X, 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 U, P. Okay, fantastic. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I would like to. Only point is about to. Only point is about to <laughs> go on. I, I would like to hop in. <laughs> so I did a whole first on this. And my problem is that, number one, it is very rude. What is stop? Stop. People who abbreviate. It's very nonsensical. I would never understand it in my life. Say I'm old school. Or people, or people that just say, say hi. Ah, auntie, you will not say hi. Say auntie. It's good. I don't care. After all, I am auntie because, uh, you <laughs> see, uh, growing old uh, has been denied to some people. So it's a privilege. So if you like, say, ah, she does not even know what is pop. I don't want to know what is pop, you know. Add, Allergy pumping. Add context. I don't know how people just say, stop, stop. And then you don't say, oh, you wanted, you enter somebody's DM and, and they're not responding. Not they will not respond to you. Because there's will nothing never, to respond ever. to. Because I remember the very first time I got a DM that just said, hi. And I said, you know what? Let's not be like, my own is too much. And I said, hello. I the person now said, how far? <laughs> I still replied. I was like, I'm good. The person I said, okay. <laughs> I said, never again will I reply a DM that just says, hi, or stop, Waste of time. Or hey. Or... Waste of time. I don't think it's Waste of time. See, even if it's not even an influencer you're reaching out to, you can see me send a message and say, hi, I just came across your page and I really like your pictures. I think you're doing well. Guess what? Most times you get a follow back. Don't DM me and say hello, follow back. Even why KFB K K K K K K and Faladele, they say it till tomorrow. They say I'm very formal. That when I send even WhatsApp messages to them, good I morning. 
<laughs> but you guys as well, because I'll see even on WhatsApp, and somebody in this office actually complained. Even in this office, yeah, so, somebody so. complained. I said, hi. Uh, how was your night? Hope you, you hope you slept well. They're like, just send me what you want to send me. So, said, oh. so, so I, have, I have a question. Yeah. So when you get, especially on WhatsApp, when mm -hmm. you get that kind of message, good morning, is so, 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 so. Is it bad that I don't reply to the good morning and I just, and I just answer? So, so I will not throw you slap. Let me relocate first. <laughs> so the thing is, I will, not, just I, will, I will call you out. OJ. I will so drag I must, you. I must answer OJ. good morning. OJ. Then I will not OJ, but see, you know that when I send you, let me see. Stop. So, uh, see, it has not happened before because, because because this is me. The day Ojo will send me a message and will not put good morning, I, mean, I sent a message and I put good morning. Just reply, will, I'll just reply your... See, that day you will see me at work. Even if I'm not on set with him that day, I will drag you. We're, we're, all, we're all learning. Eh? So, so, you people that's going to I say good morning to you and say morning. So, hey, why you did I stress it? myself yeah. if it was saying good? No, no, if there no, is no. nothing good well, about it. No, 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 my no. own is our yeah. former producer, no. our former no. producer, Chichi. <laughs> good morning. You reply, morning. You know what I'm saying? Good morning. Okay, morning. So this is good what, morning. This is what I'll say about that one, yeah? When I see good morning, and I'm like, I don't type good morning. It's like we just start telling ourselves. I don't okay, know. Okay, so are you not so saying just that? Morning. So, so these people like, you'll be surprised. If we yeah. start going down this route, yeah. you'll be surprised. So I said to somebody one day, I said, all right, ma'am. And so she sent a message to me. She said, I'm your mommy. Hey, yeah, Don't man. you? We so these asshole. people like, so I'm like, okay, so I thought ma'am was from madam. <laughs> not okay, the not the stress the world, man. <laughs> yeah, but Let just, me just deal on the vibe. Have, just try to have good etiquette when sending so. DMs yeah. and yeah. emails. So you just do that some things because okay, your yeah. helper might not be answering you because of the way you are approaching sup. them. It's if true. You see, if you see Elijah Liko Dangote, will you say, sup, sir? That's not the only one. And you're not close to me. You're using dear for me. Dear King you there. Oh, oh God. <laughs> you will say, yeah. Please let Ah, especially oh. when I know that I'm older than you. Uh, and say I am somehow. Yes, I am somehow. Dear. Ah. Okay. Please, yeah. let's move on yeah. again yeah. because yeah. it's like we are, we are learning. I'm we sure are, we have touched one cave with only pot. Yeah. Please let's move on again. I'm sure, okay. I'm sure you guys out there must have learned one or two things. Yeah, let's be careful. But then, now, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. And of course, we'll talk about this smiling one. Yami Fabi under fire for making movie about Baba Jesha's rape saga. Mm, pathetic. All right, Gwen Stephanie and Blake Shelton officially tied the knot. Chippy. Okay, when we come back from this break, we will be checking out Daily Tip 4. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying here with us. Uh, we had a lot of gist off air. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. For many actors and actresses, forming fictional romantic relationships for the big screen is just part of the job description. After all, it is part of their profession to make viewers think they are in love. But some of them, however, end up meeting their significant others on set. Whether they are acting together as a couple or they become acquainted completely by chance, Today, let's talk about five Nollywood actors who met their partners on set. This is the Little Five. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's Watch go. me. Bah, bah, bah. Zach Orji and Ngozi Orji. Zach Orji met his beautiful wife Ngozi on a movie set in the 90s as they both starred in the Nollywood blockbuster movie. Deadly passion mm. with Ngozi acting the role of a side chick. <laughs> <laughs> the couple dated for two years before they got married, and they are blessed with three lovely children. Zach and Ngozi Oji are one of those celebrity couples who are never talked about because their marriage is still intact. Mm, now, wow. And there is no negative publicity about them. Yes. Safe to say, this is how we're meant to finish it. <clears throat> safe to say, there was really deadly passion between them. <laughs> You what? What's lying? <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy. I, I I didn't know this. And it's been oh a while. Gosh. I saw Ngozi Oji too acting. Yeah. Though. Yeah, amazing. And, and, and I, I know, know their song. Sing. Yeah, that song. Like yeah, that family, they he has sing. a song that sings. He sings. Now a man of God or something of sorts. That, that's that. I know that it's very very quiet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, number two on our list, Ike Okechuku and Florence Walike. This lovely couple who played the role of husband and wife in the popular television series Tinsel met on set during the shooting of that particular series. Their love chemistry on Tinsel was so great that one would be able to guess that these two love birds are actually husband and wife in real life. The couple got married in April 2013 and have been together ever since. They are currently blessed with two lovely kids, a boy and a girl. And it's crazy that uh, Tinsel still shows. I stumbled on it one day and I'm like, Wait, 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 last week. This show? Yes, I was that's, surprised. That's and history right there. And to think that right they're not the only couples, but some people didn't yeah, make it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, as well like this, maybe, <laughs> OJ, OJ, maybe I should go and audition like this. Maybe the love of my life is on set. Who knows? And I'm here. Especially since Who is there? I don't know. Okay, let's just move on. <laughs> <laughs> some people used to plan something, but let's move on. Yeah. All right, it's Patrick Doyle and Erasing Doyle. Patrick hey. and Erasing Doyle are two older lovebirds of and on-screen celebrities who have been married for over a decade. The couple met in a movie location in which her husband was the movie director and she was an up-and-coming actress. It was reported that the couple went their separate ways in 2017, but Patrick Doyle issued a public apology in 2019, claiming he took the marriage for granted. Oh, man, like Patrick Doyle. I, I like the fact that he could actually come yes, out and him. say that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. Yeah. What? Yeah. Wow. Okay. 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 The next person on our list, Ben Rajivade and Osasi Godaro. Huh. Osasa and her ex-husband, Bill Rajiva, they met on sets of the hmm. television series again. Tinsel. Yeah, that was what oh, I was talking about. Oh, I'm going to about. audition. Yes, the couple got engaged in 2014 and married a year later. The former Tinsel stars and lovebirds appeared to be having cracks over their child's upbringing after Benro accused his wife of negligence. Unfortunately, the young couple could not resolve their marital problem, which later led to their separation after several clashes online and offline. And on the point, we were talking about people that met on Tinsel, but... The marriage, you know. I said so. <laughs> you did. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Olive Jacobs and Jocker Silva. Yeah, please hear me out. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Not here. <laughs> All right, now an award for the long standing celebrity and Nollywood couple is to be given. Then it should rightly go to this power couple. Yes, the veteran actor, Oli Jacobs, met his beautiful wife, Jocker Silva during the pre-production of a stage play by the National Theatre in Nigeria. After he arrived from England, Oli Jacob made it known in an interview that it was love at first sight. Hmm. And he told everyone in the room on that day that this is the lady I am going to marry. Straight up. Mm -hmm. They got married in 1989 and they have been rated the hottest couple in Nollywood ever since then. You mm -hmm. see, I see, I feel like I feel like his his British background also plays because Nigerian boys are not romantic like this. Let's just be very honest. <laughs> and you can tell that he actually proper takes care of her. Like every time you see her, she's glowing, she looks happy. And that's how it's supposed to be. But and there was and immediately, so I said, this is the love of my life. But you people who see this one, you say, this one, now nah, she have big, oh, love it. Oh, we this one. Test, not test you you now focus. You guys, so, you guys, you guys test what? Borrow a leaf from Benro and Olu Jacob. Okay, Why yeah. would you want to borrow from Benro? Ah, oh, okay, wow. let's just go. Wow. Uh, what that, do you share Words me? of a feather. I did not say anything. Yeah, that's it on today's Daily Top 5. Vibes and Inshallah. Yeah, what are you watching this next after this time out? Yes. Ah. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs>
And um, uh, actors uh, include Nancy Ndimbe. Ah, hmm. oh, wow. I should not just murder these names, but I'm just going to leave the names like that. All right, let's talk about the plot of the movie. <laughs> hey, I have never seen a deadly movie as this one before. Like, you know, when they start, they show Snake doing, like, somebody stabbing you. <laughs> oh, wow. And, like, somebody stabbing you in the back, and then somebody, uh, like, you know, some, yeah. some like, deadly. yeah, deadly. Mm -hmm. So that is exactly what the movie is all about. It's about uh, this particular woman, Mary. Mary has an orphanage, and uh, she has brought up so many people, and I think she mm -hmm. grew up in an orphanage, too. Mm -hmm. uh, but she has committed so many atrocities in her lifetime that day. Oh, wow. uh, but she hides on that, oh, I am a kind person, Mother Mary kind of thing and mm. all that. Uh, you would never know that some things actually happen in a... Mm. Under a... Do you know? Like, I want to say one pigeon, but I cannot, yeah. you know, figure it out right now. But then, <laughs> you know, you know, like, she, the things she does, she kills. Mm. Oh, wow. And, but you would never know because she has the facade of, oh, oh I am doing all that. Yes, and all that. Very, oh, orphanage oh, wow. and all that. And, uh, well, I think our children too knows uh, what she does. Mm -hmm. And um, if you're going to ask me what stood out for me in that particular series, because it has a lot, and I think people should see it is an interesting one. Mm -hmm. In fact, the episode I watched yesterday or two days ago was when uh, she, she lied to her daughter about a real father. So she employed somebody, paid that person to that's act gang that's gangster, yeah. as the dad so that she can look good. And so she gives the person the script. I've oh. never seen this kind of thing before. So she gives the person the script that these are things you should say to my daughter. Oh, wow. And now that one is now becoming very friendly with the daughter and goes to the daughter's house like at night. And somehow she just showed up one day and she used this pecky because she was knocking and calling the daughter's name. The daughter was in the bathroom. The man was in the house. And then she just used this pecky. The way the man ran, my heart almost dropped in my mouth. Like, because, you know, say we asked you occur. to, we uh -uh. asked you, no, no, we say things don't they occur yet. Okay. But the thing yeah. is that it wasn't supposed to be there because yeah. they paid him to act like the father. Yeah. So you weren't even supposed to be there at that point. So you, you get so <laughs> and the the father went to the bathroom like ah, Mary, your, your, um, you know, oh, Esther, wow. your mother is here and all that. And somehow she is hid somewhere. And mm -hmm. he, she heard something falling from inside and just went straight. Like is somebody in this house, is somebody my ass. Because she <laughs> kills at will. This man will just die. <laughs> That for nothing. <laughs> All right, so it's a series. I've not finished watching it. Uh, how will I rate it? Over 10. I think I'll give it a solid 8 over 10. Like, they finished work. Yeah. It's just something that you're just very engrossed. It takes your emotions and all that. Like, the one I said, my heart almost jumped in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know. Like, okay. Uh, okay. let me just leave it there. Okay. Uh, really? It's so no, I'll be South African. It's so no, yeah, South African, yeah. Okay. Uh, what movie did I watch recently? A whole lot. Uh, but let me talk about one that Dallas says she doesn't like. Um, fatherhood. Oh, God. Yeah, actors okay. in this film. We have Kevin Hart's <laughs> Fatherhood. We have a movie for fathers. Uh, we give it a solid 7 over 10. Is that the first movie for fathers? That's because lately, you people lately, you're always lately. talking and saying that they never drew this year's Father's Day. We're not the following, for you. We're not the following like, a drag. What we're not the, the, like this okay, year. they're not the following a drag. Did I you don't have the change diaper in between this? Yeah, that was creepy too. Change <laughs> diaper. You said it was creepy. <laughs> but see, there are women all over the world that are doing that every Please, we can do like it ten too. times every day. We can do it too if we, we can want do it, Abby. If we want to. Fatherhood. Fatherhood. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so don't be like cool. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> don't mind him. All right, so I was actually watching um, a series. It's spelled L-U-P-I-N. I thought it was Lupin, but apparently it's Lupin. Oh, it's interesting. Someone was outside of the house. And then they now said it came on fire. <gasps> Did the son die or not die? I don't know, but there was a big explosion. Go and watch it. Yeah. What would I rate it out of 10? I would rate it a 7. I would say I found the whole him putting mustache and wig and them not recognizing and they will him not know you. very cheesy for me because I'm like, <laughs> but I'm still seeing you now. Or it's very scary. Is it me? Maybe because you are watching it from, yeah. Jonas is like, me, I wear wig tomorrow and come here. You know, I say, we will oh, come on, what are you looking for? We will not for? recognize you. Okay, I'll do this one day. Me, <laughs> I shall close my mind at some point because if I still want to see a movie, I yeah. don't know, don't join Amanda's, Amanda's league. See, and that, and that was why... It's a, it's a, it's a season see, one. Yeah, it's a series. That's just season two. That's the finale. And that's why I said, like, for instance, Fatherhood Now, you saw it and you liked it. Yeah. I saw it, I didn't like it. This one didn't really pop pop for me. 
But then it wasn't bad. It's something I'll definitely say you can go and see. Okay. But Father would, I would not recommend it. All right. All right. Yeah. That is it with our choices. When we return, you have the opportunity to share with us any movie or shows whatsoever you recently watched, what you like about your choice, who acted in it, and most importantly, your rating over 10. That is happening when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that what cool? Daddy. Yeah, but it's a different language. I know, right? So I know, right? A whole other thing. Yeah, I know how things can mean different things. But if a Nigerian <laughs> tries it, MBC will come mm -hmm. All right, guys, so, mm -hmm. aha, what are you watching? We've been asking you, and it is so interesting that we have messages on Facebook, yes. and we are going to be diving into the messages right about now. So, who's yeah. that? Uh, Flawless Blaze right here says, Dala gave Fatherhood 4 over 10, Amanda gave it 6 over 10, OJ gave it 7 over 10. I am confused. Flawless Blaze, don't be confused. Just watch. <laughs> Just watch, watch. It. watch it. And rate it. And you might rate it 10 over 10. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> and right. of course, still on Facebook, Daniel Adifuye says, Baby Mama Part 2 on TVC. Yes, that was a uh, movie they were showing before we came on air. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Have you seen it? Oh my gosh. No, I tried watching it, but because of work, walking up and down. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. And still on Facebook, Esther Onuchuku says, Cruella, Cruella de I still haven't seen Cruella. Okay, okay. we've got Olan Rewa Jokwemi here, who says, hashtag is splash on TVC. Good, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. <laughs> you guys are looking amazing, thank you. <laughs> thank I'm you. I'm watching Queen Latifat. Uh, it's a comic Yoruba movie. Yeah. Queen Latifat is a lady who lives out of the pretentious and uh, broader lifestyle, like I, like I will rate it 8 over 10. You know All when right. you said Queen Latifah, I was thinking... I was thinking it, it would be like an American huh? or something. So but this no, one is Queen Latifah. No, when I saw the Latifah, not Queen Latifah. <laughs> okay, right, so... We have a call. Yeah, me see from Ikordu. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, hey. me see. Yeah. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. hi, Dala is here. I'm sure you want to say hi to. Oh wow! Hi. Thank you so much. Thank Aww. you, indeed. That's so sweet. Thank you. So, what movie or series are you watching? I watched Live in a Year. Did you like it? Oh uh, yes. <laughs> Did you cry? <laughs> no, not for me. <laughs> why is your why is your why is your heart strong <laughs> now? Let me see. You you actually cried for that movie, really? Wait now, why is your heart strong? Did you no, did you get did, did you get did you get emotional in any way? No, because I, I'm used to Philippine movies. Oh wait, is it a Philippine movie or the one with Jaden Smith? No, I'm talking about um, uh, the one with Jaden Smith. Oh, so you're used to... No, that's right. I said I'm used to Philippine movies. They have this emotional movies. Okay. For ordinary American movies. Your heart is strong. So you're looking at OJ. OJ. Yeah. That means OJ cried. Your heart is strong. Yes. In fact, some of my friends recommended if you know, like, well, no, we are going to cry. You're going to cry. Uh, like, you see? I'm, I'm, no, that's I'm my type of watch. girl. OJ, yes. stop. OJ, ah, free her. No, 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 no. no. It's, 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 it's Nigeria that is doing you. That's why. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> OJ is allowed to feel the way he wants to feel. Go because that's, that's, how, hey, that's how you fool now start. So when something now happens to a guy, you know that men don't cry. You'll be telling your child. Where? Where, where, they, where, they, where they write them? Boys she, don't cry. Please let them cry if they want to cry. Do one for me at guy after her father would you should get that. <laughs> she on Facebook and OJ Lawrence says what? he watched oh. the Korea. But for those who love good movies, I recommend Skater Girl. Samuel Adelani on Facebook also says Attack on Titans is an anime series and I'm currently in season four. The story uh. revolves around the boy called Eran Yeager who lives in the midst of three secular walls protecting humans from titans, big giants that eat people. Wow. Uh, wow. That sounds like my type of movie. Oh. Hello. We have a caller here. Sally. Sally from Lagos. Hello. Good afternoon. Aww. Hi. Good afternoon. Hey. Your comment on two is, is, is a very, very nice thing. That thing, people need to get it right. <laughs> Thank you. What's that? Right? They go right in the exam. So, all those are written in the exam. That's right. And we just, we just so zero when it comes to admission in Nigeria. We take everything so serious. Yeah. We tend to make it our normal English and we get it wrong. Wow. And the movie I'm watching, Looking and Allah has really given me to continue. Please, you guys should end up by two. I'll continue my movie. I can't. Uh, <laughs> I'll rate it eight over ten 
this is in all I've watched. Okay. I'll continue. Okay. okay. That's very good. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Oni Rama, Oni Shaba, Oni. I am you. sending you kisses. <laughs> <laughs> I love that wow. energy. Okay, yeah, still I on do. Facebook. Uh, Flores Blaze sends another message. Says, good afternoon, guys. I recently watched Designated Survivor. Um, the plot is very long and confusing. It's about a bomb explosion, bomb explosion that took the life of the U.S. president and sped the life of the vice president. I've seen it. And the vice president is then faced with the responsibility of taking over. I'll rate it 7.5 over 10. Yep. Dala, did you watch Truth or Dare? I haven't seen Truth or Dare because somebody recommended Lupin, but that's the next, next uh, movie I'm going see. to see. We yeah. actually saw Designated Survival, and it's like? a very good movie. Mm -hmm. Is it not old? Like, oh. Yes. Oh, it's old. Oh, it's old. Yeah, he's the one I've seen it. Yeah, I think we've... Yeah. I tried watching it one time. Yeah, it was really good. All right, so Dennis Joseph on Facebook. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that. Because <laughs> I, I just saw King OJ. Yeah. You are looking good today. Tommy, I wanted to ask, but yesterday, he did no, not look not good, me. good. Right. I'm sorry. So, so that's another thing that people need to be watchful of. Yeah. That's, uh, you look beautiful today. So yesterday. So yesterday. <laughs> so sometimes they mean it, but sometimes they don't even mean it. They just yeah. want to no, pass that compliment. Is, but then say this because I also understand that they might not have seen it yesterday. Or Some people that we see you yesterday and say, oh, you so look good. So I think today. that it's just good for you to just say, you look good. Oh, you look very nice. Yeah, and then Thank you, you move on. That today won't come out. Shall we? <laughs> 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 All right, so Dennis says, I'm watching Fifth Elements. A uh, sci-fi movie about the four elements, water, fire, air, and air, ah. connected to the fifth element. It's shy interesting. Ah. I'd like you to watch it. Uh, uh. Rate it 9.5 over 10. Uh. Okay, so we've got Miriam here. Miriam Ifemi Fossi, who says, Hello, guys. I'm currently watching Lara and the Beat. Mm. And our dream movie cast include <laughs> Shay, Shay, Vector, Vector, and many more. It's about a lady whose parents were super rich, but things... <laughs> took turns a few years after their parents died, so they had to look for a way to survive. I'll rate it 8 over 10. Now, if you ask some people on this call... Hmm. Okay, hmm. I'm still, check fine. still checking out some reactions on Facebook. <laughs> Bami Te Ko Ade Goke Abe says, for life by 50 cents. And Areola Uluwashen is saying, Queen of the South. Uh, uh, Queen of I the don't South. know why, yeah. I'm still yet to watch the new um, season, season okay. five. I'm just waiting for a weekend that I'll just be really, really be bored free, and I'll just and then, binge watch okay. it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. All right, so we have series. Bello at Debayo Yusuf, and this movie I've seen it. Miracle in Cell number seven, Yay. and I don't know when tears started pouring. Oh, that is an emotional that's, one too. See, if you, if you just feel like crying, that's that's that one. one yeah. So if you said you cried for that one, nobody would say. I didn't cry say. for it, but I'm like, okay, you so can't cry strong. about it. Your heart's strong. But your na, Nigeria, they do you. Bruh, <laughs> no, I, so you know because my real genre of movies is horror. Yeah. So I'm used okay, to so these. you're used so to. So I'm saying all these. Uh, cheesy, like, cheesy. Okay, <laughs> because somebody I told her to watch a particular movie that I can come on TV to talk about, and uh, she was asking me, like, is it my type of movie? I could not answer that question very well. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, we've got Omoni Yisani here, who says, Magnificent Century, Kossem. Uh, we also have, uh, okay, Chobiki, who says, Wonder Woman, rating is 7 over 10. Hmm. Um, Wale Adeyinka here is saying, I want to go to the cinema to watch Badamasi and Ayinla. Two movies, I really two, want to watch Badamasi and Ayinla, to watch too. too. I really want to see uh, if because they did justice line. to the Bada Badamasi and then the Ayinla because, of course, it's, they're telling a story yeah. of someone. So mm -hmm. I really want to see if they did justice to it too. Mm -hmm. uh, although Amanda suggested another one uh, to watch. Me, Aki Folayos. Aki movie. Movie. Yeah. Yes, they saying that she was really, you know. Yeah, okay. Emmanuel! <laughs> hey, Emmanuel! Yeah. How are you doing? How is Laurie today? Good, Laurie chilling so cool. All right, so what movie are you watching at the moment? Oh, uh, Charm City. Hello? What movie? Wow. Oh, we lost that call. I don't know if your network will. <laughs> uh, still on Facebook, engineer Raphael Badru says Melin season one. Who still watches Melin in 2021? Melin is chilled. It's yeah. something you casually watch. In 2021. Yeah. Oh, so you have people here. Oblingo Agoro here says fatherhood. You see? You see? Della. And it's of course. Yeah. No preference. Whatever. Wrapping up the messages on Facebook, Francis Omase Agbaje says the witches. 
Okay. Your kind of, your kind That's of movie. That's my kind of movie. Yeah. Definitely. We're done. <laughs> All right, and that is all we can take on what are you watching. Thank you for sharing with us. We will be back to talk about the movie showing at the movies. Don't go anywhere. Tuesdays are always very sweet. Yep, mm -hmm. I agree. Somebody is wondering why. Because uh, the selection of songs, man. Uh, An alternative sound. Love, love, <laughs> love. Yeah. Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time to check out some of the movies showing at the movies. So if you're planning on going to cinemas this week, here are some movies you should consider. Darlings. Yes. <laughs> in Nollywood, this one is <laughs> Devil in Agbada. Three young girls on a mission that seems almost impossible, but impossible means nothing to them. They either die or try. Actors include Linda Osifo, Erica Wabdin, if it really, Akin Lewis, Alex Okubo, Desmond Elliott, Uche Jumbo, Uzo Arukwe, and others. I saw what People you People who can best relate with what you're going through are people who have been through it. And that's us. I'm not trying to start a therapy group. It's your lives. Has anyone seen him yet? No. He is definitely in the VIP. Let's go. Remind yourself about the reason for your cause. About what winning this war means to you. <laughs> Amazing. That had a lot of crazy scenes. Yeah, I know. I'm sure Elites will love this because one. Erica, Erica from right? yeah. Yeah. Erica yeah. from Big Brother Nation. And she keeps saying that I've been acting for five years before I got into them. On part. <laughs> no, I said what I said because what did I say? Did I say somebody? No, I but you said, said what she said. Uh, uh, yeah. be, ah. All right. <laughs> the next movie in Hollywood today is Luca. So a young boy experiences an unforgettable seaside summer on the Italian Rivera filled with gelato, pasta, and endless scooter Yay! rides. Luca shares these adventures with his newfound best friend, but all the fun is threatened by a deeply held secret. He is a sea monster from another world oh my God. just below the ocean surface. Actors include Jacob, Jacob Tremblay, Jack Dylan, Grazer, uh, Emma Berman, Maya Rudolph, and a host of others. Check this out. Scopa. We can go oh. anywhere. It's so interesting already. Right? Right? I, I just love the colorful. pasta, gelato, gelato. and uh, <laughs> like let's just be plain and frolicking in this world and uh, no problems and all that. Frolicking. Uh, frolicking. It does not even mean any frolicking. Oh. See, okay, guys. guys <laughs> the misfits. <laughs> after being recruited by a group of unconventional thieves, a renowned criminal Richard Pace finds himself caught up in an elaborate gold heist that promises to have far-reaching implications on his life and the lives of countless others. Actors include Piers Brosnan, Tim Roth, Nick Cannon, Rami Joba, Jamie Chung, and others. Caught me a little off guard. I was just notified about this. We can try and stop that gold from financing terrorism. Steal the gold, stop the terrorists. Let's go to prison, shall we? Oh, and I only fly first class. Why hasn't anyone saying anything? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've watched this one and I loved it. I loved it, yeah. I, I, I love it. I don't, I don't know. I just love movies that involve stealing or... Ice, and that's 